Let me start with this. Why am I so excited to turn 40? Well, a lot of people talk about decade markers as being sort of daunting or intimidating or frustrating. And I've been really looking forward to turning 40 and I think it's because of some elements of my identity that I feel like I'm outgrowing. When I was a younger man and blessed with certain genetics, um, it was rare to find me with a shirt on, certainly not in a photograph. And I enjoyed the youthful, rip-abbed body that um, I enjoyed through the world. And there were elements of that that I think tainted me in a not-so-ideal way. One of those is that it became part of my identity. You know, people started to identify me as the, you know, whether it was long hair or pink hair, and wild furry clothes and shirtless and just larger than life like a superhero and I in a lot of ways that was wonderful in a lot of ways that was my way of kind of breaking through self-concepts of limitation self-concepts of what was possible what was acceptable for my place in the world and so you know identifying as a, as a superhero in look and attitude and dress was a way to say boo on you status quo rules I'm skipping out of the grooves that you said are acceptable and want to play my own role and there was other reasons for it too one was that I started to well I kind of because of insecurities and self-doubt, I never really felt like the ideas that I had to share could stand by themselves. And so, in the same way that, you know, um, a poetry book by a famous actor is a little bit more impressive than a poetry book by a poet, because, well, he's this actor, you know, and so the fact that he can also do poetry is like, wow. And so, in my head, I kind of, you know, said, well, if I can be, you know, look like a model and also have something relevant to say, well, then that mean, that is, that's more impressive than just being, a, you know, somebody, just the words. And whether that is, you know, totally irrational or not, it was my insecurity and my lack of confidence that was kind of making that all equal out in my head that you know the sum of all my parts whether the van vanity things as well as the intellectual and spiritual things all came out um, in a place that I felt comfortable being public and sharing so loudly and over time that's become something that I've kind of worked on and in, in some ways enjoyed the process of aging and in some ways kind of looked forward to the aging process on my body so that it would be impossible to keep it as a crutch. I had the period of time where I went brown hair. Um, I've had other periods of time where I've tried to actively kind of confront the visual element of my identity. And then through coaching of the last couple of years, I've had even more actively, aggressively attacking these ideas that I need the physical surface level elements to to equalize me out and even one of my first my first uh, visit with Carpo my coach um, I told him my goals of coaching were to you know get the discipline to do more meditating to do more reading um, kind of increase certain spiritual aspects of my life and he asked me well, well why and I was like well you know because I want to get to a place where I can be more of a legitimate teacher and he's like legitimate to who? And it was very clear as he asked it, I was like, oh, I'm the one judging me. There is no barrier, there is no licensing board for valid words that says, hmm, you aren't meditating every day. We're going to give you a B to put up in the window of your storefront. But I was judging myself. I was in some ways still feeling like I needed, I wasn't quite up to par, I wasn't quite 
relevant. I wasn't quite, um, I didn't earn it. And, but as he pressed me in these questions, I realized that I certainly was happy. I certainly felt at peace. I certainly felt overwhelmed with gratitude. I certainly was in a place where if I could share whatever it was that made me feel this way, then how could that not be relevant? I meet so many people and talk to so many people who struggle with these things that, that the lessons of my life that have my personal lessons have some validity. Not to everyone. That's one of the other glorious things that I've learned along the way is that different messengers are required to deliver the same message to different people. I saw a number of talks this weekend at Light in a Bottle, and it was interesting how I would talk to people afterwards, and some of the ones that just, mm, I didn't really, the, the way it was delivered, and I, I liked the messaging, but the way it was delivered just, I couldn't resonate with me. And the other people were like, oh, I love that guy. And, or some people that I said, wow, I just, the way they spoke, just I so got into it, even though what they were saying wasn't quite resonating with me, but something about their energy. And so, more and more it's become clear to me that my job isn't to become a certain image of what a teacher or what a podcaster or what anything is supposed to be. My goal is to strip away everything false, have integrity, come from love, and just show up. And if that resonates with anyone, if that message through that messenger resonates, well then win! And then it's not up to me to grow the audience, to, to, to expect anything. That's put in the hands of the universe, in the hands of God. You know, if I just, all I can do is try to be as true as possible, the results of that have to be right. Because then I'm taking out my conscious ego goals for what's going to happen. I'm not steering. I'm just floating. I'm just being. I'm allowing. I'm surrendering. And from that place, I do believe that it cannot go wrong. No matter what, even if I die, even if, if whatever are the results of pursuing truth, that is the right place to be. So, reaching the milestone of 40 is in some ways like a, a, a freedom where I can no longer expect myself, nor can I believe that anyone else can expect me to continue being the shirtless, dance on top of a speaker, go-go boy of Burning Man forever. I can't be. I don't want to be. I would much rather be sitting on a fur couch, speaking calmly, and or listening even calmer. And so the, the, the age thing has become kind of a, a permission slip, a graduation, uh, you know, moving my tassel across my mortarboard. Now, does that mean I'm totally uh, free of all vanity and all visual image that cues? And no, hardly, not at all. I will probably struggle with that forever. But I remember frequently the interactions with my grandfather as he was in his, you know, last chapter of his life, and his body was surprisingly functional, but at the same time, understandably beaten up. It was more than twice the age of mine now, and all sorts of things happen, just like an old gnarled tree, you know, he had skin things and sagginess and certain aches and pains and certain challenges, but he was in such a place of understanding that this shell was his gift. It was this amazing opportunity to continue interacting with the world, continue loving, continue speaking his truth and listening and loving. And I feel like turning 40 is a really symbolic step, a stepping stone towards that kind of body comfort, that type of disconnect between 
the physical and I guess the spiritual. And I feel like it's happening. I feel like I'm, I'm moving in that direction. Maybe it will happen forever. Maybe it won't be until my last breath that I finally go, okay. But it is a, a liberation. And the, the way that I see myself, while I still love the pageantry and, you know, fun hair. For example, this weekend at the festival, I think I wore a shirt the entire time. I know! Crazy! But, you know, I, I think that um, I want to start seeing my energy, my eyes, and my voice as the things that I want to elevate and amplify less than my abs, my outfits, and my hair. Those were insecurity speaking through the visual because I was insecure about the deep. And as I get closer and closer to understanding that there's no one I need to impress, the only experience of the universe that I really have any understanding of is my own. And that's a teeny tiny understanding. So trying to satisfy or be anything that anyone else is looking for or trying to satisfy the respect or the qualifications of anyone else is a fool's game. It's crazy. So I am excited, calmly excited about the next 40 years of my life and the depth of that, the calmness of that, hopefully the surrender and the lack of self that that will entail. The identity of me, I think, is becoming less and less of a personality and more and more of a channel. And that is what I seek to do. I would rather have deep connection to source than deep ripped abs. You only live once. Enjoy the color.